Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime. Today we're going to be talking about Breath of the Wild 2. we got some new rumors surrounding Breath of the Wild 2 and it appearing at a potential Nintendo Direct this month. That is really exciting. We also have some news on a canceled Zelda game from Retro Studios. And no, it's not the canceled sheet game that everyone knows about that we have factual art pieces for that leaked back in 2020. No, 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 this is something else entirely. We also have some information from past interviews pertaining to Breath of the Wild that might hint towards stuff here in Breath of the Wild 2. Oh boy, this is some really exciting stuff. So much so we couldn't throw this in a Pride 5. If you enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. We are on our road to 100,000 subscribers and I'm always trying to keep you as up to date on Nintendo games as possible. Let's get right into the stuff about Breath of the Wild 2 that was a new rumor dropping, well, yesterday. So over here at NintendoPrime.net, you'll see that we have a new post up here saying huge rumor, uh, huge direct incoming Breath of the Wild 2's name and more. Now we talked about this a little bit, uh, but let's go over this post. I wrote it, so I'm just quoting myself. Earlier this week or last week, depending on how you count your weeks, we reported during a Prime 5 episode on our YouTube channel that industry veteran and journalist Jeff Grubb talked about how he was pretty positive the Wind Waker HD and Twilight Princess HD would be coming to a Nintendo Direct this month as well as assuming Breath of the Wild 2's title would get revealed. Of course, the latter of this came across as purely a guess, which I mentioned in the video, while the former seems to be from his own sources and was corroborated by his co-host's own sources on his show, The Last of the Nintendogs. However, the tides have shifted yet again, as Jeff Grubb guested on a podcast last night called The Nintendo Shack Crew and added new information to the mix, in particular when it came to Breath of the Wild 2. A lot of Zelda stuff. Now, I said the word blowout. Everyone is hyper fixated on that. I don't know what Nintendo's exact plans are. I suspect, and it's been intimated to me, this is probably happening that we will probably get the name of Breath of the Wild 2, and we will also get ports of the Wii U HD transfers of Wind Waker and Twilight Princess. Now, down here, he also talks about how he knows that It Takes Two is coming to Switch, which, again, we talked about in a different Prime 5 episode from a completely different source. Somebody else was telling us that It Takes Two is coming. Jeff Grubb is just corroborating that he knows for a fact that It Takes Two is not only coming to Switch, but will be at this Direct. That is one of the games he is aware of. So that's awesome. That's cool. That's interesting. And this is the part here that we obviously focus on with Breath of the Wild 2. Uh, its name is, you know, according to his sources, we now know this comes from people, comes from his sources that Breath of the Wild 2 will not only be in this direct, but that the name of the game will be dropped. Intimated means hinted to him. Now, I'm not done talking about Breath of the Wild 2 because there was a new episode of Did You Know Gaming that went up uh, yesterday that dealt with the canceled Sheik game from Retro Studios. And I really encourage you to go watch it. It's a really long video, about 25 minutes. And it goes through a whole bunch of stuff because they interviewed two people who were working on the project. And they came up with a ton of details. Essentially, the sheet game, uh, it wasn't very good. It just it just wasn't good. Uh, the leadership you know, was pretty boneheaded. They wouldn't listen to anyone on the team working on it who said the gameplay was horrendous. And when they had a playable demo of it, yes, a playable demo existed, they pitched it to Nintendo, who greenlit it in 2007. They pitched it to Nintendo, and Nintendo literally laughed at them because the demo was that bad. Uh, which, by the way, the people who worked on the demo knew the demo was that bad. But the leadership didn't care. They thought it was the future. Anyways, that's not the hero there because... Throughout the video, they brought up something that I think actually applies to Breath of the Wild too, and this is old interviews pertaining to Breath of the Wild. So a 2014 uh, Game Informer interview after Breath of the Wild, you know, at the time just Zelda for Wii U was revealed, they asked Eiji Anomu, the producer of the Zelda series, the following questions. What are your reactions to everyone's reactions to the Zelda Wii U reveal? He was responding to the question a little bit, and then he went on in that response to say, another interesting comment I've heard quite frequently, actually, is that, oh, Link's a woman. Link is female now. Game Informer goes on to expound on that and says, I thought that too. I thought maybe it was Zelda when I first saw Link on Epona at a distance. Eiji Anomo responds, that might be something that consciously we kind of did. But not to say anything specific, I am not saying anything specific, but I am hoping people continue to comment. Now, AJ Noma did clarify in a later interview that this was a joke and Link is obviously male. However, at E3 2016, AJ Anomu brought up this whole concept again, saying, so yes, there were rumors like that about 
female link. And we did discuss as a staff as to what would be possible if we took that route. We thought about it and we decided if we were going to have a female protagonist that it's simpler to have Princess Zelda as the main character. But that idea ended up being rejected as AJ and Noah because if we have Princess Zelda as the main character who fights, then what is Link going to do? Now, the very next day at E3, Game Rant went on to ask uh, Miyamoto, who obviously created the Zelda franchise and still has a lot of sway over it, asked if he could expound on the idea. And he said, some people might wonder, you know, because the title is Zelda, it's a female character. Why isn't the protagonist a female character? But really, to me, The Legend of Zelda, the main series, Link is the protagonist. But within the development team, too, there have been talks about how it might be cool to have a game that features Sheik as a protagonist. It's having maybe a Zelda spinoff with Sheik as a protagonist, for an example. I don't think that's an impossibility. Now, we obviously know that Retro Studios was working on a Sheik game factually. It was very different from the mainline games. And yeah, you go watch the Did You Know Gaming thing if you want to know more about that game. Uh, I'm really disappointed to find out uh, how that game came together development-wise. The leadership really let them down, and a lot of people left Retro Studios after the pitch was rejected. So there, that, that's a thing to consider. Now, one reason I'm bringing this up isn't just because uh, Miyamoto mentioned that, hey, we could do a game with Sheik someday, and this has been 2016, long after that project was canceled. But what's interesting here is thinking about the idea that the Zelda team itself has been thinking about playable Zelda, playable female characters in the Zelda franchise. And this really gets back to Breath of the Wild 2. We've heard rumors, of course, about Breath of the Wild 2 having multiple playable characters. You can play as Link and play as Zelda. Zelda has the Sheikah Slate abilities. Link obviously has the new abilities. And maybe there's a past and present. And is, you know, Zelda's being held in the past. Link is or in the future. Or something crazy is going on with time travel that lets you have two different segments of the game where you're playing as both characters. Breath of Duality, as an example, is a, a title thrown out there because of that. I find this to be an interesting concept. And I would be curious if the Zelda team, who clearly has a desire to make Zelda playable in some way, decided to incorporate some of these ideas into Breath of the Wild 2. Now, again, this is just speculation, but this is speculation based on words from the actual two biggest minds that control the Zelda franchise. Because as much as Eiji Anomu is the producer, if Miyamoto walks in and wants to flip the tea table, he still can because he has that kind of pull. So these are the two big people. Now, what's interesting in the Did You Know Gaming thing is towards the end, and they're going to have a separate video on this, they said in a few weeks, is that actually Retro Studios pitched a second Zelda game to Nintendo, and this Zelda game sounds even more exciting. What was it called? Well, Heroes of Hyrule. Now, we have some faint story plot details on this. This game obviously never happened. It got canceled, so we don't have to worry about this game coming out, so it's not a big deal to spoil this stuff. But here is how it went. There was a story timeline document shared to them through these interviews from one of their sources, a former employee at Retro Studios, and it went as follows. Ganon captures Princess Zelda. Link sets out to rescue Zelda, but Ganon's forces ambush Link and capture him. Three of Link's friends, Agoron, Arito, and Azora, set out to rescue him. After many adventures, the three heroes defeat Ganon. Ganon retreats into a magical spell book that is the source of his power known as the Book of Ganon. Link takes the Book of Ganon into safekeeping, and the heroes, so we're talking about Goron, Rito, and Zora, remove many pages of the book and hide them to prevent Ganon's return. 100 years pass. Link is now an old man. I would say so. It's been 100 years. He'd be like 120 or something. That's crazy. Anyways, Link is now an old man and owns an antiquity shop. Now, there's more details they're not sharing right now because they are currently working on putting together a much bigger, a much bigger video on this leaked uh, pitch of a game that never went through. But I find this interesting that Retro Studios actually had two Zelda games they tried to get by, and I'm curious why this pitch ended up being rejected as well. But that's what we have right now: the Heroes of Hyrule, a spin-off Zelda game that basically was rejected by Nintendo, at least as far as we can tell. Anyways, folks, let me know what you think about this new news on this leaked Zelda game pitch, and let us know what you think about Breath of the Wild 2, our speculation on it, let alone the rumor about the name drop happening at Nintendo Direct, baby! Let me know. By the way, am I the only one excited for the Nintendo Direct in general? Forget Zelda, and I'm a huge Zelda guy. 
just a general Nintendo Direct makes me smile. Catch you guys in the next video.